I honestly think that the best way to know the type of person that Lisa is, is to spend a little bit of time with her kids. They are the most successful, intelligent, hardworking, humble, kind people that you could ever meet. Thinking way back to when, you know, our relationship and friendship started was the player coach. And I remember what a positive female role model she was. Uh, she was always constantly challenging um, all of the young women in our locker room of, um, you know, really thinking about um, the world in a different way and about how we as women, um, you know, we deserved um, to have equal footing and um, always was pushing us to be our best. To me, good character is what you are, what you do and how you act when you don't think anyone is watching. Um, I remember a time I went to go visit Coach Bluter's office to talk about basketball, and there was often someone in there chatting about, about the last game. I saw her helping one of my younger teammates um, learn how to shake hands better, um, learn how to make eye contact and to be confident and have a, a strong, confident handshake. And that's not something that Coach Bluter was ever going to get credit for. It wasn't going to impact uh, the, the score or the basketball game at all. And I think that that is a demonstration of, of good character, of just caring about that teammate as a whole person and wanting them to be, to be better. She carries herself with such a high level of integrity. And she has a beautiful, a uh, humble spirit and um, everyone that she leads, everyone that she works with, um, we just get a great sense of her selflessness and um, you know that example she sets for the young women that we coach in doing the right thing all the time, I think that's one of the greatest lessons that she instills. As one of your many former players, I cannot thank you enough for instilling character and doing things the right way in us in a very impressionable age. You lived out respect, trustworthiness, and caring every single day. Lisa is not one person when she coaches and another when she is with her family or when she's with friends or in front of the media. She is at her core the same person all the time. And she uses those talents not to shine a light upon herself, but to show other people how to become the best that they can be. In this world, um, there are just so many different ways to win. And um, the way Lisa has always won has always been with a high level of integrity. And I think that's what I've always admire is, admired is that Lisa is the same person I met back in 1990 as a young player. And as we've kind of traversed, you know, the frontiers of an ever-changing world and certainly the world of athletics, um, Lisa's the same, even after all these wins and after all of her individual honors. You know, she always keeps at the core everybody else. I think, you know, if you talk to her, she loves coaching because of the impact that she can have on all of our young women. In some ways, I don't think Lisa has ever changed. I think she has always been extremely hardworking, high integrity, a competitive person and that's just never changed. Although she's a clear leader, she works really hard to lift up those around her and to give them a platform on which to be successful. So I really think what her secret sauce is, is that she gets to know people and she knows what motivates them and she knows how to get the very best out of every individual. And then somehow she's able to mold that into her tight circle to make a team and to make that team better than the sum of its parts. And I think the way that she does that is she truly cares about people and she truly wants to make people the best that they can be. Coach Bluter really keeps track of, of the, the, her past players. She, she really cares what, what we're all up to. Um, I had an opportunity to spend time with her this past summer and this was on the heels of, she had just coached in a national championship game and she cornered me and for minutes told, went on and on about how proud she is of me. <laughs> I was like, are you, look at what, at you and what, what you've done. You know, she, she had, had just been, you know, re receiving these awards and, and such attention and for her to, her immediate instinct 
is to, uh, to, to, to look at me as, you know, uh, someone that, that she influenced greatly and to, to spend that time telling me how proud she is of me. It's like, are you out of your mind? You, you, you look what you've done and accomplished. Like, I'm so proud of you. You've been an example of elevating those around you. And even more, you have given us the tools to believe that we can do anything. And over the years, the visibility of your character has overtaken the nation. The exposure that you and your teams have had have given people outside the state of Iowa a glimpse of being what an Iowan and having the utmost character is all about. You know, I think Lisa is such a great coach and a great leader because she's just so real. Um, she has just this um, rare authenticity about her. I think in this day and age, uh, sometimes that authenticity is so hard to find. And along with that authenticity is she has just a beautiful, humble spirit. Um, you know, sometimes in recruiting, I wish she wouldn't have so much humility. It's hard for me to uh, get her to talk about herself or to sell how many wins that she has or the successes that she has had. Everything you've earned, you've deserved, and this is a great capstone to your career, so congratulations. When we're calling your games, you're always incredible to us. You're forthright, forthcoming. Um, just share so much of your knowledge and always an upbeat, kind human being. And we appreciate that. And again, just congratulations. Uh, really, really happy for you. Lisa, congratulations to you and your family. You have received and will continue to receive many, many honors for being a Hall of Fame coach. But I am so proud that tonight we get to honor you for being a Hall of Fame person. Lisa, congratulations. Oh man, I think I've told you that many times uh, throughout our lives together. And certainly we've had a blast this last uh, you know, few years. Uh, but this time it's congratulations to you. Uh, what an honor to receive this award. And um, I'm just so proud of you as a friend. I'm proud of you as an associate. And uh, I just hope you take time to celebrate it because you certainly deserve it. Thanks for all you do. I love you. And again, I'm so proud of you. I am so proud that the Ray Center and of course the entire state of Iowa has recognized the character that you exemplify on a daily basis. Those of us that know you have known this for a long time. Coach Bluter, congratulations on this award. I can't think of anyone more deserving and I'm so, so proud of you. I'm sure I speak for many of your former players, coaching colleagues, and the amazing state of Iowa. Congratulations and well-deserved. We love you, Lisa.